Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at page numbers in Microsoft Word. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to put page numbers on every single page on your document and then how to have specific page numbers on specific parts of your page in Microsoft Word. Let's get started. So once you have your Microsoft Word document open for you, to insert page numbers in your Microsoft Word document, head over and click on the Insert tab at the top of your screen and then head over and select page number. Once you do this, you will notice you have a whole lot of options. You can either insert your page number at the top of a page, at the bottom of a page, at the page margins, or on a current page. On the current page or current position means that wherever your cursor is in the document is where the page numbers are going to be added for you. But for this example, we're going to use bottom of page. So you want to select this and then here you can see you can left align your page number you can center align your page number or you can right align your page number if i simply head over to the bottom you can see there are other options for you to use to get your page numbers in your document for this option here you can see you can have page one of how many pages you have in your microsoft word document but for this example we're going to use the right align page number so I'm going to head over here and select this now. And now at the bottom of the screen, you will notice that page numbers has been added to our document for us. So once you have been able to successfully add page numbers to your document, to format the page number, once you find yourself in the footer section of your document, you will notice that the footer tab, the header and footer tab has been opened for you at the top of the screen. You want to head over to the far left corner of the page. And now you'll find the option that says page number. If you select this, you'll not find the option that says format page numbers. Alternatively, you can head over and select the page number and then right click on it. And then you find the option that says format page numbers. If you select this right now, a dialog box will be open for you. And now you can decide to change your page number format from either numbers to alphabets, or you can decide to use Roman numerals. So once you're okay with this, you just head over and click on okay. So from our page numbering, you'll notice that the title page also has a page number. And usually the title page shouldn't have a page number. So if you're in the footer section, all you wanna do is to head over to the top here where you have header and footer. You wanna select different first page. So once you do this, you will notice that the page number on the title page has been removed for you. But then if we head over to the next page, you see that the page numbering starts from two. So to correct this problem, you wanna select the page number, you wanna right click on it, and then select format page numbers. Once you do this, you would find a dialog box open like this for you. So what you wanna do is select the start at. So because the title page is the first page, you want to set this as zero and then click OK. And then here you will notice the title page becomes page number zero and the next page becomes page number one. So in case you want to print this document like a book and then you want the odd page numbers to be on the right and then the even page numbers to be on the left part of your document. All you want to do once you're in the header and footer section is to head over and select different odd and even pages. Once you do this, you will notice that the option here says odd page footer. If I head over to the next page now, you can see the next page here says even page footer. And this is what happens for all the pages. So now you can also notice that the even page numbers on our document is no more there, but that is not a problem. All you want to do is to click on the footer section of the even page number. Once you've been able to click inside it, you want to head over to click on page number and then select bottom of page and then you want to left align the even page numbers now once you do this you will notice that the even page number for every part of the document has been added again so if i head over and scroll through the documents you will notice that the even page numbers has been added and they are now on the left part of the footer while the odd page numbers are on the right part of the footer so in a situation where you don't need these page numbers anymore and you would like to delete them, 
Let us head over first and remove the different page number option. And then we want to remove the different odd and even page. And then you can see everything now is back to normal. So if you want to easily delete your page numbers, once you're in the footer section, you can just head over and click on page number. And then you find an option here that says remove page numbers. Alternatively, you can head over and just select the page number in the footer section. And then you want to hit the delete key. And then now you can see in every part of our document, the page numbers has all been removed for all parts of the document. So now we are done learning how to insert page numbers into our document and also how to delete the page numbers if we don't need them anymore and other settings which I showed you how to use while using page numbers. Now I'm going to show you how to insert page numbers on a specific page and also how to have different types of page numbers on your Microsoft Word document. So right now for this our document, we're going to have a different page number for our table of contents and then for the body of the work we're going to have also different page numbers so let's get started so now the next thing we want to do is to head over and turn on our paragraph markings so to turn on the paragraph markings in your documents you want to make sure you're in the home tab and then head over and click on this icon right here so once you do this you will notice your paragraph marking has been turned on for your documents Having a look at our document here, you will notice we have various page breaks in the document here and then we have one over here. So we want to insert now section breaks instead of page breaks. Page breaks and section breaks are kind of similar. It's just that section breaks helps you to put the different contents or the different things, uh, different parts of your documents in different sections. So we want to first of all delete the page breaks which we have on our document. So to do this, just head over and select this and then click on delete. Same thing here for our table of contents. Now to easily insert a section break, you want to head over and select where you want to put the section break. And then head over to layout and then select breaks. And then you want to select next page. Doing this now, you can see we have a section break here on our title page. And now we're going to do the same thing for our table of contents. And now you can see another section break has been added into the table of contents. Also, if ever you want to delete your section break, in case you want to move it to somewhere else or you don't want the section break anymore, you just want to head over and click just in front of the section break. And then you want to click on the delete key in your computer. And then now you can see the section break has been deleted. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be making use of the section break so i'm going to put it back again so ctrl z or you can head over here and click on undo and now you can see the section break has been added back into our document so now if you head over and click on the header section in our document you will notice that we have header section one header section two and then we have header section three this means that you have been able you have been able to divide your documents into three different sections so now we can have different page numbers or different page number formats for the three different sections. So the next thing we want to do now is to head over to the home tab. And then you want to turn off your paragraph markings. And then once you have done this, now we have three different sections. You want to head over to the footer part of your document and double click on it. And now for the footer sections, before we introduce the page number or the page number formats we want for each of our sections, you want to head over first of all and click on link to previous. You want to uncheck this because at the bottom of your page, here you have same as previous. So whatever you do in the footer section one is going to get carried over to the footer section two. Same thing for the footer section three. So for each of these sections, you want to select or deselect link to previous. So for footer section 2, I'm going to select this and now you can see the option is gone. And then also for footer section 3 here, you want to deselect it also. So if I click on it now, I want to deselect the link to previous. And now you can see the options has been removed for both of them. So now the next step now is to add our page number format in each of the sections. So for the table of contents, you want to just head over and select the footer section. 
Once you're in the header and footer section, head over to page number and then head over to bottom of the page or whatever page format or style you want to use. But I'm going to put mine in the center of the page. And now I'm going to right click. I'm going to select it and right click on it and format page number. For my table of content, I'm going to be using the Roman numeral. So if you have an error like this, just head over and make this one and then click on OK. And then here on our document, you can see for the second section, which is the table of contents, I've been able to add a page number of I. And then the same thing you can do for the body of your work. If I head over to the body, which is the content of my work, I can head over and select over here and then insert and then page numbers. And then bottom of the page, I'm going to put a page number one there. But now you can see it starts from zero. You can simply select this, right click on it, format page numbers, then start this page from one and then click on OK. So now you can see for our table of content, we've been able to add a different page number. And for the body of our work, we've been able to add a different page number. So now let's say we want to give our readers a sense of where they are, meaning you want to add a type of formatting in your page number that tells the reader where he is while he's reading your document or reading your book. So for example, if I head over to the footer section to edit the page number, and I want to type in page one of, and then I just want to head over to the last page, and now you can see I have three pages. If I head over and insert three there, you can see each of the page now has its page numbering says saying page one of three or page whatever of the total number of pages you have on the document. So this is good and nice, but the problem with this is if I head over and click on insert and add in the page break, you notice that the page number was not updated correctly or not properly. You can see now it says page four of three, which is not correct. So what you're going to do now is to undo this. And then the best way to do this, first of all, is to delete the three here. And then you want to make sure you're in the header and footer tab. And then you want to go to document info. You want to select field. You want to make sure in the category section, you're in numbering. And then you want to head over and select section pages and then click on OK. And then now, if I head over and click on insert and page break or a blank page, you can see that page four of four is being updated properly. So no matter how many number of page breaks you're going to add after this, it's going to update automatically by itself and it's going to update it properly. So guys, this step I just showed you right now, it's only going to work when it's just one section. So if you just have one section and you decide to use this step I just showed to you, it's going to automatically update the page numbers. But in a case or a scenario where you have multiple sections or page sections, this process or this step I showed you is not going to work. So another method you can use is to use a bookmark or a cross-reference, which I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let's undo this first of all. And then we want to head over and remove the three here. So the next thing we want to do is to make sure we create a reference point in our document. So for example now, or for me right now, I'm going to use end, E-N-D, as a reference point in my document. So you just want to head over to your document and write and type in end. So now once you have created a reference point or a bookmark point in your document, the next thing you want to do is to head over and click on insert. And then you want to head over and find the option here that says bookmark. And then here you want to type in the bookmark name, which we just created, which is called end. So E-N-D. You want to click on add and now head over to your page number at the bottom of your screen head over to the end here so here now instead of typing the last number or any number at all you want to head over and click on insert and then you want to click on cross reference and then once you have cross reference open you want to make sure you are in the bookmark section if you're in any other section you have to come and select the bookmark 
and then here you want to select page number and then here you, you find the new reference of the bookmark which you created so you want to head over and select that and click on insert and then close and then once you do this you will notice that automatically the page number at the bottom of our screen has been updated so if i should double click outside the page and now i head over and click here and then what we create or insert a new page or a, a page break you can see here wherever the end part of our of our reference or our bookmark is you can see the page is going to update automatically by itself so let's head over and add two more page breaks you can see it updates by itself you can see it updates by itself so this is how you can easily use bookmarks to reference a particular word and then you can use a cross reference to use that part no matter the amount of section breaks which you have in your document all right guys that's all for this video i'm sure this is everything which you have always wanted to learn about page numbering or page numbers in microsoft word to watch more videos like this or if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to my channel hopefully i see you guys on my next video have a wonderful day